Hello again and welcome. More on the TI-83. Today we are going to graph a straight line on the TI-83. We're going to talk about some of the functions you can use. Of course the first thing you'll do is turn it on. Uh, mine is a TI-83+. Plus. If you have an 84 the menus are the same. It just looks a little different. And uh, let's say we want to graph a straight line. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Y equals. So you press Y equals and you come up with a menu that looks like this Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, on and on and on and let's say I asked you to graph the following equation Y equals 3X plus 4 Okay, I asked you to graph that equation well you've got Y1 here and you're going to type in that equation. First thing you got to do is, is learn how to type this in. So 3x plus 4. You've got a key here. It says xt theta n. I'm going to zoom in on it. This key right here. This is your variable key. Anytime you want to put a variable into your graph, you use this key. So that's my x key. And I'm going to type 3x plus 4. So again, I'll zoom in and I want you to see that what I typed and what I've got written in blue look the same. y equals 3x plus 4. Okay? So if those match, then before I do anything else, I want to go to my window. Your window settings tell you what your graph is going to look like. How far to the left, how far to the right, how far to the top, how far to the bottom. So X min, I'm going to zoom in on these so you can see each thing. X min is how far to the left the graph goes. And our standard would be negative 10. We start at negative 10 on the X axis. X max is how far we go to the right of the origin and our standard there to go between these you can press enter or you can press the down arrow okay so for me I'm just gonna press the down arrow and that'll go to the next uh, entry X max I'll also make that 10 X scale this tells you how many tick marks you're gonna have on your screen so if I set my X scale to 1, then I'm going to have one tick mark for every one step in the X axis. If I set my X scale to 2, that means I'm going to have one tick mark for every two steps in the X axis, on and on and on. Y min is the same thing. It's how far down the graph will go. We'll set that to negative 10. Y max is how high the graph will go. We'll set it to 10. And then X scale, uh, Y scale is the same as X scale. Y scale is how many tick marks do you want? And I'll set it to 1 just to show you the difference between the X and the Y scale. The last one is X res. That's the resolution of the graph. Okay. The highest resolution you can have is 1. Um, and that resolution basically tells you how good the graph is going to be. The lower you set your resolution, the grainier the graph looks. Normally we just keep this set at 1 all the time. Now I'm going to press the graph button and we see I graphed a straight line and that's my equation y equals 3x plus 4. Okay? Now, given y equals 3x plus 4 um, and this straight line, I want to show you every tick mark on the x-axis 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 on the y-axis we set our scale to 1 so every tick mark is 1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on and on and on what if Let's go back to y equals. What if I set up a function
like negative 4x plus 24 and I press graph and I want to see more of this graph okay I want to see where this thing hits the y-axis what do I need to do I need to make my graph show more up so go back to window how do I adjust the top of my graph with y max well right now y max is 10 what if I make y max 30 now press graph what do you notice now instead of stopping at 10 the window goes all the way up to 30 and the graph looks very very different when you are graphing with your classmates your windows need to be the same or you cannot compare your graphs because they will look different okay uh, another function you can use that's very 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 helpful in this course is the trace button you can press trace and you get a cursor a little blinking cursor right here and you see it starts on x equals 0 y equals 24 and you can trace now the disadvantage to this is normally it doesn't trace nice neat whole numbers okay so you see you get a lot of messy messy decimals let's say you do want to know some numbers about this equation okay you want to know when x equals 1 what is y when x equals 2 what is y when x equals 3 what is y well you've got two functions in yellow one says TBLSET table set the other one says table I'm gonna start by pressing second and going to table set and it asks me where do I want my table to start and what do I want my change in my table to be I'm gonna start my table at zero press the down arrow the second number is asking how big of a step I want to take so if I want to start at zero and go x equals zero x equals one x equals two x equals three my step would be one okay now that I've set my table I go to table so press second and table and you'll see it starts at x equals zero at x equals zero y equals twenty four at x equals one y equals twenty at x equals two y equals sixteen at x equals three y equals twelve at x equals four y equals eight on and on and on and you can scroll down and it goes on forever and ever and ever what if you decided well I started at x equals zero but I really want to know about some other numbers you can scroll up and it goes on and on and on and on and on so this will tell you the table will tell you for any value of x what the value of y is so this is how you graph and use your table function and we'll do more with this later on in the year but this is a good example to get you started okay now to get out of this what would you do well anytime you're in a menu you want to get out you're going to use your quit button it's in yellow so I press second and quit and it goes back to my main menu last but not least when you're done with your calculator you want to turn it off it's got an auto off feature if you leave it on for more than I think 10 minutes it turns itself off but that kills your batteries the word off bottom left corner is in yellow so you press second and off and you turn your calculator off always turn your calculator off to save batteries that way it doesn't die on you in a test